so we are going to install a new ROM and um, I've performed all the wipes and uh, Dalvik data internal meter and cache then I have formatted my data too so let us begin the real installation first we will take the vendor for this ROM that I'm trying to install is this one uh, cow so me I'm not sure if I have pronounced it uh, right or not so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the latest uh, decrypted o OSS vendor so let me install it right now it is installing it shouldn't take a long a long so let it finish finish installation we have finished um, installing the vendor so basically we will wipe the caches and we will go for a system reboot well i just do this i mean this is the way that i install or that i flash homes if you are following any other method feel free to follow that there is nothing wrong with it so basically the recovery is rebooting now and the next process that we are going to do is we are going to install or we are going to flash the ROM. So let it boot up. Okay. So yeah, here we are. Let me go to the uh, SD card. So we took SD card. Then first of all, we will take the ROM. This is the ROM which we are going to do. I mean, uh, it, the ROM is by default having pure CAF kernel. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to change the kernel too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the latest Fury Prof kernel. Then I'm going to select the G apps. Oops, wrong folder. Um, G apps we have over here. So basically I'm using Flame uh, 11 G apps, and I will install Magisk too. Because once you are using the decrypted vendor. Um, you cannot actually uh, boot the ROM if you are not have if you are not installing Magisk. For that, I'm going to install the latest 24.1.0 Magisk. So let us install the ROM. The installation has started. So uh, as you can see, that it is using the Raven fingerprint. So basically, it is flashing the system image. Now we have finished flashing the Magisk uh, Fla ROM kernel and uh, GFs as you can see over here. So let's wipe the caches and reboot to system. Simple. It shouldn't take a very long time. So yeah, you can see that the POCO splash screen is in front of us right now. Let it boot. Wow, here we have the boot animation. So it's a basic boot animation. We cannot say uh, we cannot say that it's uh, extremely good, but really I love the boot animation. Basically, basically the ROM is an anime ROM, and this is how you would flash the ROM. It has finished flashing so let us begin the uh, installation or let us finish the setup wizard so i'm going to use the setup offline wizard i don't actually um, sign into the um, google immediately so basically yeah let's disable that more accept and let's skip this and here we are the rest i will post it as a screen record because i feel it is better so let's see the screen record right now hi there welcome back to let's talk by george again we have finished flashing the um the the rom so we have booted the rom um now um this is the default wallpaper that we are having with this rom so let us review the launcher what launcher it is using it's using the launcher 11 launcher by default so that is about the launcher side and let's move on to the um, the, the dialer side. I mean dialer it's the default AOSP dialer that you have and uh, it is having the call recording option too. So if you are worried about whether the ROM is having call recording option definitely the ROM is having call recording option for the dialer and the message music player which we are always familiar with the lineage ROMs and we get the lineage browser too. Now in this build I am using Flame GApps basic and as you can see that 
um, I have enabled the blur it's okay to enable the blur we just have a small kind of lag um, apart from that I didn't have any other problems and the uh, quick settings they have not modded the quick settings overall it's having the default lineage ROM um, looks and uh, the ROM is pretty much smooth then you get the camera go as default camera application then moving on to the uh, app drawer we get device information so let's have a look what device information we have over here now let's go to the system and as you can see that the build is user then um, I believe the uh, SE Linux is going to be enforcing yeah I guess the SE Linux is enforcing and the default fingerprint that is being used with this ROM is of Google Sunfish so basically it's using pixel device um, fingerprint and more to show you let's go to the settings wizard or settings app and as you can see that it's having the default lineage layout and then coming to the battery you get block sensors option and you have the smart cutoff for the charging then smart charging you have and you get nice uh, battery information which is not accurate it's okay I'm not blaming or I'm not complaining then coming back you go to the display and you can see that light display is with the ROM and uh, um, you can enable dark theme let's have a look if we can get some dark theme options okay you just get two options one is kind of gray look and if you want pure black definitely you can do by enabling this activating this button so let's turn it off for now and the styles and wallpaper you can uh, you have a custom lock screen clocks wow you have quite a lot of um, lock screen clock choices that's really great okay that's really fine and uh, coming down you can see you can adjust the font size if you want to enable blur definitely there is an option to enable and uh, disable what else we have okay let's see if we have some font choices so let's go to the style and uh, let's uh, see what all font choices it has so it's just basic font choices you, you get uh, three extra font choices not a problem you can install uh, magisk fonts if you want to then that is about the display and coming down you get a little bit amount of customization named as Kausami's closet let's have a look what it has well um, it has some basic customization so basically clock status area info under the lock screen clock okay that's good and if you want to enable and disable data disabled icon that's possible you have a notification ticker over here and even a OSPL button oops it is not showing up now okay fine so you get quick panel settings you get a tint QS styles and these all are the options that are available and you can even adjust the uh, columns and rows for quick settings so that is the um, customization over here so other are something that we are familiar with the lineage ROM I mean lineage customization so basically status bar and gestures you get lineage customization um, kind of thing so that is about the customization that the ROM is offering and under the security you have um, screen lock fingerprint and face unlock available and even a app unlocker is over here so that's really cool and let's go to the about phone and as you can see the about phone settings is something really cool I mean I really like the up to the Android version you can see that this is unofficial and I'm using the latest fury prof kernel so that is about the um, about the settings and coming back to the um, to the app drawer it's really smooth and the ROM is really good I really love the ROM and uh, that's really nice let's uh, move on to the um, app drawer again and see take a look at the all applications whatever that is available with the ROM now um, what is my final verdict about the ROM I mean the ROM is offering us limited amount of customization even though it's offering limited amount of customization still the ROM is really great and I do really thank the person who has compiled uh, the ROM for our device he did a great job um, to compile this ROM I, I mean yeah, he might have spent a lot of time uh, fixing errors and stuff like that many thanks for him for compiling the ROM for juice devices I mean the ROM is really great and uh, yes 
as a custom rom lovers we always uh, want uh, mini roms as much as possible so we just want to have different experience each and every time so if you are looking for a stable and smooth rom definitely you can give it a try it's very nice rom and um, that is about it i mean uh, i cannot really tell you anything about battery backup on and stuff like that i haven't noticed any major bugs with the rom this is all i can say while it is working perfect so that's it once again i would like to thank you for watching the video please make sure that if you haven't subscribed to our channel make sure you subscribe to to our channel also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any further updates thank you